what's going on guys clutch here and welcome back to georgetown i just out in the shop here working on the john deere quickly but it's been absolutely pouring for the last like day and a bit we're absolutely so can't get up to the lake right now it's just absolutely soaked out there i mean it is springtime so it's kind of to be expected but man we're getting a ton of rain and it doesn't have any looks like it's gonna stop anytime soon it seems like we get these little patches of blue sky but it never even stops to rain out here it's just constant rain all of the time. Let's probably get our uh, our muckers on here, Goat. If, it's, uh, if we're going to be out wandering around, get some boots on. Um, let's go for a quick take a look around down at the creek and see how things are down there. Hey, cows, watch yourselves coming through. So, like I said, guys, it's been raining like this for the last couple of days. Just non-stop. Uh, everything's pretty saturated down here in the lower parts. She's definitely a bit moist. Watch the smokes. There you go. Now you're moist. But you know what? We're, we're, we're okay up here. There's been some people talking that they're worried about flooding back in town. But town's up at the same height I'm at, the elevation. And the creek, the river that goes through Georgetown, you can see here, it's kind of starting to encroach. Water's coming up a little bit, but it's not bad yet. Seems like it's okay still. Um, this is usually doesn't come up into this area. This is, this is not normal right here. But that's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. You can see we've had some wash away. Um, but water's starting to come up a little bit here, guys. It's definitely, definitely coming up slowly. So I know there's some people that are worried about flooding. I, I'm, I think we're okay. We got quite a bit. I mean, what are we, like 30 feet for water to get up close to us? I think we'll be okay. We might have... I'm a little worried about this, this field down here, but we planned this. There's a reason we've done things the way we've done things here. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But um, you know what? Let's hunger down. We got some big storms coming. Hunger down. Let's do this. Bitter batter. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Oh man, the storm is kind of let up for a bit. You can see we got some blue skies. Everything's kind of going from east to west right now. Uh, we're we're still not out of the woods though. We've got another big storm coming. So everything you kind of see down behind the silos there is coming our way. That stuff, this this blue sky just kind of passed us and starting to dry things out a little bit. But guys, we got absolutely nailed with this rainstorm. Let's go. Uh, I want to go back down and take a look at that crick. Oh, that's not a good side. Holy shnikes! Holy shnikes! Oh man, look at this! Oh, it's it's taken over. Yeah, look at this. So this, you can see the the posts. Oh man, I don't want to. It's all slippery in here. Hang on a sec. Let me just grab onto this tree. Yeah, you can kind of see where the river used to go. Oh man, this was oh slippery. Let's just, we got our boots on. We can kind of wade in a bit here. Oh, man, look at this. Okay, so where's the fence line? It's just it's right here. That's just like right in front of us. Yeah, you can see there, the, you can fall that fence line down. It's another probably 20 feet in, and that was all, well, for the most part, dry beforehand. So this this has come up considerably, guys. This has probably come up 6 feet, maybe maybe 10. But it's all being blocked by the bridge, because that's where the water all siphons in. You can see right there. Now they're saying we're going to get a bunch more rain, guys. Um, oh, man. So... We need to figure out something. I'm worried about that bridge. I'm really... It's an old bridge. We need to get some sand on that. Um, let's go take a quick look at that thing. Luckily, I still got the uh, the John Deere skid steer from the other day. We'll just keep this with us. I'm going to go drop this off over there. We're going to need this in a bit. Uh, I think I'm going to need to do some sandbagging today. I, I, I just need to get ready for this evening. The rain's supposed to come in a couple hours. Uh, a little later on today. It's fairly early in the morning. So, But tonight, we're, if we get hit by another storm, guys, this could be some serious problems. They're saying it's going to be a similar size to what we've already had, so I'm really quite concerned about that bridge deck. I do not want that bridge deck to, to cause any problems. We can't afford to lose that bridge deck. Oh, man, look at this. Look at the water. Holy. Uh, let's just pull ahead a little bit here. Stop right here. Yeah, see, this is what I'm concerned about, guys. If it starts getting up underneath the uh, these cement pilings, it could erode this stuff up a little bit. I don't know how secure this is in here. You can see, like, looking down the valley, the water just coming up down the valley as well. If it goes past this now, as this stuff gets past here, this whole valley is going to flood. And I know Whammer's got some fields down there. He could be in for a world of hurt. Oh, man, that's that's a gra our grass field right there. It's starting to encroach on. But it's just, once again, it's a grass field. We planned this out. So we've got grass there. And then back here, I've got grass and alfalfa, both of which don't care if they get soaked. It's not a big deal. They'll dry out. It'll be fine. We'll get some silt on them. We'll have to clean up afterwards. But in the grand scheme of things, it's probably going to be it'll it'll be like a fertilizer for them. It'll it'll be, be healthy for them as long as the silt is somewhat clean. Uh, that cornfield, not great, but oh well. 
Oh man, guys, look at this. All right, so we do need to get, I want to get some, uh, some sandbags and some sand and dirt around these pilings just to secure. I mean, this bridge is ancient and I just want to, I don't want to risk losing this bridge because this is a major through fare for, well, myself as well as so many other people. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get some dirt out here. Maybe I can get a backhoe out here as well. All right, guys, so we got a uh, backhoe here at the town yard. I can grab for a bit, use that. We got that front loader right there as well. I wonder if I'll need that thing. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to grab the backhoe for now. That should be more than enough. They got a little caterpillar backhoe they said I could uh, use to work on that bridge. Perfect. It's good being uh, a noteworthy person around town. Everyone knows who I am around here. It's fantastic. Um, <laughs> we've got the caterpillar. This here little bad boy. So we'll take this over and hopefully just fill some sandbags, move a little bit of dirt around. I need to go grab that international as well. Our international grab a, uh, a load of just some, some dirt, some fill basically. And that should allow us to, to kind of get something there. Just a little bit of protection. Let's get this thing going. Look at this. Nice. Nice and quick. I like it. This thing looks pretty useful. Look at this. We can just kind of clip along. This is pretty good speed down the road. I'm probably getting hammered here. Uh, I just have to watch over traffic, I suppose. But <laughs> not too bad. So we'll use this, guys. We'll make a couple sandbags. That's really all we can, for the most part, do. Uh, we're kind of at uh, the whims of Mother Nature right now. Just hoping that it's not too, too bad. Like I said, that's a massive amount of, of ground that, that uh, it's going to have to get in order to take that bridge out. It's really be a big concern. But everything funnels down from, well, the hillside up there, down into this valley. And everything kind of comes straight down into, uh, into the river. All the way back up to, uh, from the south of us there. And then everything channels right in and that bridge is it really in a bad spot like everything kind of funnels there before it heads down further down the valley towards the lake and that's like a choke point so the way that that kind of ends up collecting all the water i guess um i could see that being a bit of a problem like there's nowhere for it to go all the water from this whole valley has to go through underneath that bridge and it's just not it's i don't know guys i'm really kind of worried about it we gotta make sure we take care of this all right, we've got all our equipment. I've got some sandbags. I've got a big load of fill. Uh, I hope this is enough. We're just gonna start making some sandbags with that backhoe. And then maybe if I have to, maybe we'll push some dirt around afterwards, but just getting a little bit as much fill as I could possibly get quickly here. We'll see what we can do with this, guys. I just hope we can protect those uh, this bridge deck, that's all. So we'll just have to get around the base of it with some sandbags and then watch what happens, but there's not much else we could do with the amount of time we've got before uh, the rest of the storm rolls in. So I'm going to do, do make, make the most use of this time as I possibly can. Let's cross the cattle guard. There we go. And in we go. So i got to figure out where I'm going to dump this. Uh, I might as well do it on this side. I'm going to have to... Let me think here. We're going to have to make some sandbags down along here. And then I'm going to have to put some on the other side as well. So I can maybe just... I'll just try and dump it right here so we can get in here with uh, the, the backhoe. And pick it up and then fill it from that. Um, that'll make the most sense. Let's just drop this right here. There we go. Make a little pile. Perfect. Oh man, we're gonna have a lot of fill here. Oh, there we go. Come on out. All right, we're empty. That should be enough to at least get us going here. I bet you this should get us a several, a couple hundred sandbags at least. Uh, let's move the truck out of the way. And we'll just park it on the side for now. I'm not going to have much more time than uh, than what we have here, guys. And just to get rid of this sand. I, I just can't see it. Oh, man. We're running out of time as is. I mean, the, uh, the skid steer off this. We'll move it out of the way at least. We may use this. We'll see. I may just use this to take the bucket with some sand over to the far side. I don't know yet. We'll take a look. I just want to have it ready to go just in case we have a, a use for it. And where's the backhoe? There we go. All right. Lift this bucket up perfect all right guys let's see here if i park against this side i think and then we could just swing the arm out fill up a few bags with this yeah that'll work out the best we got little extensions to hook onto the uh the, the hooks from the uh from the bucket and we should be good lower this back down get a little more stability up there i don't want to be falling into the into the crick that's for sure that's not a good way to help all right let's lift this on out there we go and in we go all right guys that looks pretty good we've got a bunch of sandbags here just to kind of protect the base of this bridge the pilings uh, i'm gonna leave a little bit of sand here enough for maybe another 10 sandbags if i need to if something washes away now i've had to stack them down here 
put them on top of each other because it gets so steep. I can't get any closer to the edge, but I mean, it, they're, they're saying it's going to come up another six feet, guys. It could come up six feet in here, which means it's going to be up into this area. This is a distinct possibility. We're going to run into some issues here and water is going to be up against these sandbags. So I've kind of done as much as I can down in this neck of the woods. Uh, I need to get over to the other side right away here and do the exact same thing. So let's load up. I'll leave this. Uh, I'll leave the skid steer here. Let's load up the rest of this dirt back into the truck. And uh, we'll go from there, guys. Uh, now we're running out of time right now. We've only got another couple hours before we're supposed to be into, into uh, the storm time again. We'll see. I wonder how Hammer's doing down there. I haven't seen him out, but I mean, I can see his fields are a little flooded. It doesn't look too, too bad yet. Uh, hopefully he's okay. Uh, and town, no reports from in town yet either. Just letting you know, nothing's going on there. So we don't have to worry about that at least. Yeah, like if you look back towards town, I don't think the, the water level's a long ways up. Like our farm is the same height as most of town. I don't think they have anything to worry about. This bridge is a little bit lower than our farm even. So even if it gets up to the bridge deck, like that's a long ways up to get to, uh, to anything we have to worry about getting flooded. Just some fields, which like I said, are grass and alfalfa. So I'm not really all that concerned about that. The next morning. Oh man, guys, what a night that was. That was a ridiculous night. We had that storm came in out of nowhere almost. Like we knew it was coming. But man, it started hailing over when we were working on those sandbags and we just had to, to run for the hills basically. Came back here as fast as I could, get the animals back, uh, all the cows back into the shelter. Had to move all the vehicles. In fact, let me go show you inside the, inside the shop here. It's a bit of a ridiculous mess. We've got all the vehicles that I have usually parked outside. Everything I just kind of rammed it in here as fast as I possibly could. We've got all our trucks in here. <laughs> We've got uh, the Veltras in here with the mowers even. Everything that I usually have parked outside, guys, is in. Oh, man. We just had to get everything we possibly could in as fast as possible. The cows were fighting to get into the pen. They were That usually doesn't happen. They're usually happy to stay outside. They were not having it. They were coming in as fast as they could. Nope. Um, the greenhouse. I got some cracked window panes on that one. Over on the potato greenhouse, there's, I just took a quick look over there. There's one piece of glass that's broken. Easy to replace it, but she's busted as well. But guys, um, yeah, the, the set, oh man, I don't know. Yeah, we got to go take a look at the bridge, Jack. Uh, let's just jump the fence here. Oh, did you see that? Did you, did you guys see that? Oh man, look at the water that's coming down through here right now. There's so much water. Look at this. It's up. It's like, where's that fence line? Where is our fence line? I can't even see it coming down the hillside. Where is this thing? The right, it's gonna be like right here. There it is. Guys, this is up like 10, 10 feet maybe, uh, right through the valley here. Now, you know what? Let's go, oh, we gotta go take a look at the bridge. I can see the equipment. It looks like from here, it looks like that backhoe is in the lake. This is the, is this the new clutch lake? <laughs> maybe this is Gertie's lake? I don't know. Uh, I'd like to get the flat deck out of here. Let's, uh, can I scooch? Yeah, we can go with this door right here. Let's open this door. We'll go with the far side. Oh, man. It doesn't look like we have anything too damaged uh, at the farm, at least. Kind of lucked out there uh, as far as that goes. I mean, the, it's nice that this farm is built up on a hillside. Don't need to really worry about the flooding. That's one thing. No reports of flooding in town. Uh, everything's kind of up built high enough, so that's not a problem for us, at least. But, guys, we need to go take a look at that bridge. I want to make sure the bridge is looking all right still. Um, one thing... I haven't heard from Gertie yet. And you never know. I mean, she lives down the trailer park. So you know what? You never know what's going on down there. Yeah, pick me up a bag of jalapeno chips. All right. Jalapeno? What flavor is that? Ricky, Jay Silent. Oh, guys, look at the water. Look at that. It's almost up into our barley field there. Just coming up into our barley field. Uh, we might have lost a little bit of seed there, but no, I, you know what? It's it's already to, it's already rooted, so maybe it'll be okay. Uh, the, as far as I mean, that grass field, that alfalfa field, totally covered. It's gonna have a ton of silt on it, but that's is what it is. Oh, look at the valley! Look at the valley! Oh man, we have so much water throughout here. Holy, um, guys, this is nuts. Well, the the bridge is still here at least, but. 
Like, this is where we left the backhoe and ran. Now, look at how high this is. Oh, where's our sandbags on this side? Oh, you can see how far. It's even past where we sandbagged it to. So, watch out, guys. This drops off real quick in here. I'm just going to put my feet in just a little bit so we can see a little bit farther down. But you can see how far down. Like, that's a good 10 feet where we had a sandbag to. That's a straight drop in here, but it it's so shallow. Uh, it's just like the, it's such a narrow little spot where this goes through underneath this bridge deck. But I mean, look at what is there like a foot? I think about a foot left underneath that bridge before it's going to run up against the bridge deck. That's not yeah, much for traffic here. We go, oh man, our grass field. Look at our grass field, guys. This is crazy. This is pretty much where Gertie drove off down in here, isn't it? Isn't there? No, Whammer lost it down here, anyways. Man, that is a lot of water. Good thing we got our muckers in on. Oh man. <laughs> this valley is fully saturated. So they were saying just down further down the valley because the main lake, uh, the, the huge lake that the, uh, the north part of town is on, way down that way, it's all bunged up. There's something that some trailers have come dislodged and blocked where the inlet is into the lake. And that is the main reason everything's backing up right now. So they're working on getting that plowed up, so it sh or plowed up, should cleaned up so it should be open. And once they get that cleared, guys, this water is going to disappear real quick. But I might have lost a bit of corn. Yeah, it was still, it wasn't even, yeah, not no sprouts yet, and all it is is, is water now. Ah, oh, man, I'm going to have to replant this. Hopefully this dries out quick. Like I said, this should leave the valley really quick. Once they get that whole inlet, uh, or that outlet, I guess it is, cleared up, we should be clean again. Fortunately, guys, it looks like that's the end of the rain. we got no more rain coming in the foreseeable future, so this should, we should be okay, I think. As long as this bridge deck holds while this water cleans itself out and gets taken out of here, we should be good. Let's go over and take a look at Gertie's place. Um, the trailer's just at the top of this hill. Let's go say hi and see how she's doing. Guys, look at this. Even up here, like this is a low spot in this field. All this water is gathered coming down the hillside here. We have a bit of a puddle down here. That's probably going to be a bit of a pain. I don't know if that's going to... It might seed, it might not. I don't know. We'll have to see. But any of the low spots, guys, water is just kind of pooling into those spots. Holy, I have never seen anything quite like this before. All right, let's pull into the trailer park up here and see how Gertie's making do. And hers is right on the end here. It looks like it's been cleaned. It might have, the hail might have cleaned her place. Look at this. That doesn't look bad at all. Yeah, she looks like she actually got the place clean because of it. She still got power. You can hear the air conditioner is running as well, but she's not home. No one's answering. Um, what? Are you kidding me? Look at this. It's like she's got lakefront property. How much do you have to pay for a trailer with lakefront property out in Georgetown? Look at this. She's like at the most per perfect spot now. Uh, it's too bad it's leaving for her, but I mean, look at these fields, guys. <laughs> look at this. This is ridiculous. I mean, how far across is that now? I mean, this, where does the creek usually go? It's, it's uh, still quite a ways out there. It's not usually right here. In fact, you can see like there's a telephone pole right there. Uh, you can kind of see it out in the middle. Oh, guys, that's that's Whammer's farm across the road. That's Whammer's farm out there. I wonder how bad he's got some pretty low laying ground, guys. Oh man, we should go take a look. Uh, I hope he's all right. Oh, it, it it doesn't look good for Whammer, guys. It really doesn't. Look at this. Oh man, he's got several inches of water throughout the whole main area down here. His silos even got water. Oh, man. It's just not draining out of here very well. He's in a bit of a lowland down here, guys. Look at this. Um, at least the equipment looks like it's okay. But, I mean, look, he's got like a couple inches of water even underneath his lean-to here. Oh, his shop looks like it's probably got some water in it. And then this drops down below and goes... Yeah, I don't want to go down there. This goes down a couple feet, guys. In fact, he's got an old trailer down there. Is that the roof? I think that's the roof of the trailer right there. Oh, man. <laughs> um, he's got some work to do. This is going to be a mess. Sorry, Whammer. Um, I don't know where you went to it, but you should have been around. To, I could have helped you sandbag, but I don't know if, I don't know if sandbagging would have helped. Let's just try to jump over this fence, take a look down at the creek. Yeah, that's the roof of that trailer he has back here. Uh, and there's the power lines we saw from Gertie's place, guys. Right, the crossover, and that's her trailer right on the edge over there. This is usually... Well, we're pretty close to where the creek is. It's, it drops down pretty heavily right before the creek in here. Um, I don't want to go too far out. I can still see my feet here at least, but 
This is pretty much where the creek would normally be. But it's about, like I said, we're almost 10 feet deeper than it should be, guys. Yeah, this is a lot of water. Uh, we got some cleaning up to do down here. At least his house, like look where Wilmer's house is. It's way up on the top there. He's, he's okay there. But the rest of this valley is just flooded out. Everything, oh man, he should be okay for his fields, I think. His fields look like they fared fairly decently. Just the way the land lays here. Everything kind of slopes down pretty heavily into, uh, into where the creek and the river is. There is also one other creek. There's like a creek right here too. And this one's all submerged. It's not like there's not much water running down it. It kind of goes up and you can see where it cuts through the uh, underneath the main road right there. It's just that it's all backed up from down the valley. That's tons of water. Mm. Crap. Oh, well. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. we got some cleaning up to do on Lammers Farm, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Slap that like. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, let's make a jump. Go, 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 jump. No, oh, no, didn't make it through. Oh. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time from a soaking wet Georgetown. This is Clutch. Over and out. Oh, man.